is Sai. Welcome to Sai Tech Logic channel. In this video, we'll discuss about uh, the deployment of Palo Alto firewall. Okay, so here I'm using Pano S9.0. So for that, you need a virtualization soft uh, software. For I'm using VMA Workstation 15.5 Pro. You can even use Workstation 14 as well if you have that. So here uh, I'm using Workstation 15.5 Pro. Okay, and it's not that you should use only this VMA workstation. You can even use Oracle Virtual uh, Virtual Box or any other uh, virtualization software. So I'm going with I'm going with 15.5 Pro version. Okay, so to download this, uh, use this link. I'll give these links in the description as well. So once you go into this uh, site, VMA site, you can find download 15.5 Pro for Windows as well as Linux. Download it for Windows. So once you download, it will ask for your key. So license key. <clears throat> These are the license key we, which are working. So, so you can use these license keys. I'll give these links in the description for both uh, downloading the workstation as well as the license keys from the GitHub. Okay, check in the description. Okay, once you are ready with both, uh, then we can start. So once you open your VMware workstation, it will ask you to create virtual mission. Open. A virtual machine okay since I have an OVA file I'm directly opening it okay so you can see here I have okay I'm going with 9.0.0 okay open it so it is asking for the storage path okay I've selected that and it is asking for the name then import so once the import is completed uh, you have to configure your uh, adapters your CPU your RAM and everything So it will take a few minutes let's wait for that you can see here uh, it's the import is almost completed so now you can see the virtual mission here okay pan vm esx 900.0 so you can see the memory of the processors hard disk and the network adapters to change this you need to go into edit virtual mission settings Okay, here you can change all the uh, processors, hard disk, memory, and net network adapters. So before doing that, uh, let us go into control panel and check what are the adapters I'm having. If you go into control panel, go to internet and sharing. So here you can see uh, change adapter settings. Go into that. So I have one Wi-Fi adapter and remember this name, it is wireless AC7265, okay, Intel. So this is my Wi-Fi adapter and I have VMNet 1, VMNet 10, VMNet 11 and VMNet 8. These are the adapters I'm having for my virtual mission, okay. So let us go and check in the virtual mission as well, whether these adapters are present or not. So going to edit, you'll get a virtual net network editor, go into that. So you can see here, uh, okay, it is asking for the permission administrator privilege to modify. Click change settings. Yes. You can see here now I have VMNet 0, 1, 8, 10, 11. So compare with this. So you can see VMNet 1, 10, 11, 8. Okay, and my one Wi Fi adapter. Okay. So if you want um, if you want one more adapter then you can click add network and you can give uh, you can select whatever name you want for example say i'm selecting vmnet 12 okay and okay so vmnet 12 is created and it has uh, it has been created with an ip okay you can use uh, this as dhcp as well now i'm removing that so now once it is created here you can click apply okay so now uh, the adapter you can see here okay it will automatically it will display here the new adapter as well so okay so once i click ok here now i will be able to see there in the control panel network connections you can see here now there is one more adapter vmnet 12 okay so why do we require all these adapters so, so before going into that i will show you a diagram so to start with uh, this will be the uh, architecture which i am planning to uh, do videos on 
so here I'm going to deploy my Palo Alto firewall and I have three interfaces for this okay one is to internet vmnet 0 and one is management interface vmnet 10 and one is to LAN okay so that is vmnet 1 okay these are the three adapters okay so one is uh, trying to access internet one okay one is going to internet that is vmnet 0 for that I can use bridge or uh, I can manually assign the interface I mean uh, manually I can add a connect to my Wi-Fi adapter I will show you that practically and one adapter I'm using for uh, one interface I'm using for management okay and one for uh, my test PC nothing but our internal network okay for testing so that what I will do is that I will uh, from this PC I will try to access internet so it has to go from the firewall so this is how uh, we'll uh, do it in the further clutter for the videos okay so for now I need uh, three adapters for example say you have one more uh, DMZ okay you have DMZ in DMZ zone as well so then you will add one more interface okay then you will add uh, one more okay you will add one more interface here saying vmnet 12 which have which I have been created uh, just now okay so this is how you add your interfaces okay so for now I am uh, I am removing this interface okay so for now we'll go with three interfaces interface names okay one is to management one interface is for management and one is for internet one is for my LAN for touch PC okay so now you can go here okay edit virtual network editor so you can see here when I create my VM uh, so automatically three adapters are created with bridged okay now I have to change this so before changing let us check so how many interface I require I require three interfaces right one for before that click change settings okay this vmnet 0 it, it is bridged right so you can check here it is bridged with my Wi-Fi adapter okay so so that I can access my internet okay so that I can access my internet and vmnet 1 host only and we similarly vmnet 10 host only vmnet 11 host only vmnet 12 host only so you can change the IP here as you require the private IP so for now I required only three uh, three network adapters. so I am removing one okay so I'm removing, removing this network adapter okay I have one for bridged and two for uh, my uh, management and one for test PC okay so this will be my adapters so and I have assigned the IPs uh, similarly okay I have assigned the IPs as well let me remove this and create it again vmnet 11 okay okay So it will automatically assign IP or you can change whatever you require. So I have now four adapters. I have now three adapters. Okay, 10, 11, and 1, and 0 is for bridge. So now I will tell you how do we use these adapters. Okay, so now go into edit virtual mission settings. You have first adapter bridged so here instead of directly bridging with uh, your host PC you can use a VMnet 0 which we bridged through adapter right which I have shown you so if you go here sorry okay if you go here so click on change settings Here you can see right vmnet 0 I bridged with my Wi-Fi adapter okay to edit network adapter instead of giving vmnet 0 bridging okay and I have one more adapter this adapter I'm using for my management interface okay vmnet 10 so give here vmnet 10 then I have one more adapter 
this adapter I'm, I'll be using for uh, using for my test PC. So I'll give VMNet 1. Okay. So 1 is for. Okay. Now you can see it is updated. So 1 is for internet. You can see here one is for internet which I have bridged one is for management PC one is for test PC okay we have used all the three now if you want more you can add from here you can add and click network adapter and once you finish you will get one more adapter if you want for DMZ what you will do is that create one more adapter and select custom and select which uh, for example say VMNet 12 which I have created previously for DMZ and you will assign IP for that so now I'm not going to do that. So I will remove this. Click remove. Okay. This is how you configure your network adapters. Once this is done, click OK. Now verify here. Once you verify, then you can power on. So close this. So power on your virtual machine. So press any key here. Okay. Uh, it will take around five minutes to boot and it will ask for username and password uh, username will be admin and password also will be admin so for example say it is throwing some error okay then um, i will i will tell you how to troubleshoot it as well so for example say it is asking that to uh, disable hyper v okay so in uh, in that case in that case uh, go to windows Futures. Okay, let's go to control panel. Okay, you have turned Windows Futures on and off. Okay, click on that. So here you have an option called Hyper V. Okay, so initially it will be enabled, so you can disable and click OK. Okay, so for example, it is throwing an error to disable Hyper-V. And there will be one more scenario in which it will ask you to disable. So sometimes you will get an error saying VMware workstation and device or credential guard are not compatible. In that case, you have to follow these following steps. Okay, uh, so this will be the error you will be getting. Go to administrative template system, a device card and then turn on virtualization based security okay you should double click on this then you have to disable it once you disable it you have to run this following code in the command prompt with admin privileges then you need to uh, as i told you uh, you, you need to disable hyper v so then your problem might solve here okay so i have done this when i faced this uh, this particular error i have disabled hyper v and uh, followed this these steps here so i'll provide uh, this link as well in the in the description for your reference okay let us go and check the process yeah it will take few moments so you can see here uh, this is the ip 192.168.43. 40 so yeah i'm in i'm in the console admin okay so let us check the config of interface so interface management enter tab you will get automatically you can see here uh, the ip address 192.168.43.0 and the gateway default gateway so this is, these are the details now you can access this via browser okay now remember that 192.168.43.40 is your management ip okay you can check here now so 192.168.43.40 right so i will just remove this okay so the ip now is One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot 
43.40 okay this is the ip we got for management interface okay so now i will try accessing with the browser and this is the gateway okay and i will try to access this ip using the browser go to browser give this ip here so give the ip in the browser click advanced proceed to the proceed to the ip now it will ask you the login okay give username as admin and password as admin click ok so now you can see I'm in the Palo Alto dashboard so you can see the software version here so if you come down you can see the management CPU uses it's 50% okay on the session count here so go into the device and these are the system logs you can see here so now we are in device go to interfaces you can see your management interface click on that you can see here HTTPS SSH and ping are enabled here so if you want telnet you can enable but it's not recommended if you want http you can enable which is not recommended okay so if you disable ssh you cannot connect via ssh okay if you disable https and you cannot connect via https and if you disable ping you cannot ping this interface so these are permitted ips means for example say i need to access it from a particular network or particular ip then I give uh, I give the IP address here so you can choose static or uh, dynamic IP which one you need okay so I'm not going to change it now you, you can change your uh, IP as well here static and you can give the IP address netmask and default gateway here now I am giving it in DHCP mode and you can change it via CLI as well so in my coming videos I will do I will continue this Palo Alto series Hope you liked the video. So I'll provide all the links in the description. So if you want Pan OS uh, 9.0, so you can join into my WhatsApp or Telegram groups. And I'll be sharing the links there. Okay. If you like the video, uh, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and share the video. Thanks for watching.